They what? You got the tent that was next to the trash can. What's wrong with that? Because they're not very smart. Dad, I'm going by the dumpster really. Yeah, it's not very <laughs> Y'all, that's what it looks like when she wants to murder me. <laughs> Pretty frequently. <laughs> she knows I'm kidding, but she still just had an initial knee-jerk reaction. You're doing a good job, honey. I'll make my own sandwich. It has stormed all evening. It's not rough out here, but town, every road around, I guess, is flooded according to everybody. Natalie hung lights. They didn't work. We've been monkeying with them for the last hour. But I want y'all to look here. It has broke. I'm supposed to get some more shots of it tomorrow. It's gonna to be a wet Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> She's upset about her lights, y'all. Tell them how upset you are about your lights. She's very upset. Y'all, the lake has come up a bunch overnight they're not able to open the dam uh, and let much water out right now because all the creeks and the rivers flooded of course the river leaves here goes to Bowling Green Kentucky and uh, every creek and stream go that goes into Barron after the lake is uh, pretty well out of the banks so they're holding the river back it's taken the last couple of weeks for it to get down to what it's down to now, which was about two foot above Summer Pool. But I would say this morning, just looking at it, it's probably gained uh, a few feet overnight. I don't think we're going to have just a vastly successful day today. But you never know with that dam shut off. It could have pushed a hybrid into a bite. It could have pushed a crappie into a bite. So. We're between fronts right now. I don't really like fishing between fronts. I know a lot of people do, but we'll see what happens. Well, guys, finally got on some crappie. That's the first fish of the day. I've been bouncing around, recording some tracks for our catfishing. Just kind of piddling. And uh, I'm ready to get after some crappie here. I found a good pile. Well, I didn't find it. I knew where it was. I fished it several times, but it's a good pile. We're going to stay on it for a few minutes. That sun, I know it's kind of rough, but not much I can do about it. It's the direction the wind's blowing. Guys, I pulled in to check his pile. <laughs> what well, bam! Caught a jumper. He's a big one. He's a good one. Give him some fresh water. Hmm. Ain't nothing better than that. One white bass today. Got four crappies so far. Just pulled back into a pile that's loaded. We gotta play him slow. I hope the camera was on. I don't think it was, but y'all look here. Look here, what a crappie. Hmm, that sucker 13 and a half, 14 inch crappie. Golly, what a crappie. Mm. No, 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 no. Quit, quit, quit. That is a jumbo for bearing, y'all. I thought I saw some good ones in there. Mmm, that's a nice fish. Mmm, there's another good one, y'all. I don't think he's near what that other one was. I don't know. Nah, he's a keeper. Oh, he's a good fish. Oh, it's another. Oh, no. Did you guys see that? <sighs> that was a good black crappie. And I just absolutely lost that fish, y'all. 
if there was one of them that two people could eat on, huh? <laughs> Missed him. Downright sad. That's all right. Even more of them. Ooh, another good fish, y'all. Another keeper crappie. Come on. I ain't gonna lose this one. We got him. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I ain't been a fish one today yet, but I've had to put on the fish rule. They've all been good. I'm gonna put this one on there just to show you the difference in them. Because there's some good ones in here. This fish right here is probably gonna go. Yep, ten and three quarter. When you look at him compared to him, y'all look at the difference in them two fish. And that's ten and three quarters. Well, I'm pulling a couple of good ones out. Oh yes, sir. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling y'all, ain't nothing like this. People can say what they want, but oh my goodness, what a black crappie. Y'all look at that guy. Oh my goodness. All right, quit, quit, quit. Right, boy, I'll tell you what. There we go. Now look here for the crappie. I'm telling you, just good ones. Every one of them is good ones. <sighs> made him bleed and he made me bleed. Sometimes they won't fight you back. I don't believe we'll measure him. I think he's good. Guys, that right there alone in and of itself will feed my family just what we got right there. I'm telling y'all, they're that big. Just good ones. But, but we can't quit because we got to get we got to get enough bait and friends too. Slung slime all over it. Y'all look here. <laughs> Just about eating right there like he is. Mmm. Mm. Boy, this is a good one. Big old white crappie. All I'm doing, guys, is swimming these baits right over top of them. You just throw it over your pile and swim it right over them. And uh, throw it right over your pile, swim it right over it, and they just come out and nail it. Way up to nine. Man needs a clicker when he's fishing. If he's going to be crappie fishing. Keeps him honest, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Let me catch up to him. Come here. Hey. Hmm. That mare thumped it like he's going to weigh two pounds. I ain't kidding y'all. He nailed it. Another ten three quarter inch fish there nearly. That's the smallest fish I've caught to the end today. I guess I better get me a fish count, y'all. Well guys, we're getting closer to a limit. Just swimming it right over these piles. What's crazy is they'll they'll just leave it alone sometimes. I act like they're not going to hit it. And then they'll study, 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 study. And then they'll just thump it. Those bigger fish, they, they get nervous easier than the smaller ones. So when you get in on a mess of them, they'll, uh, 
they take their time about thinking whether or not they want it. They don't just always come up and make, look here, something's had a hold of him. <laughs> he's 10 inches with a half a tail. He's actually 10 and a half, but. We'll have her limit here in about another 15 or 20 minutes. And uh, I'll have to swap species, which is fine. I don't need no more fish than that, guys. ashamed of it but Natalie come down here and got me on the golf cart and took me back to the parking lot so I didn't have to walk she's a good woman all right guys what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna cook some snook that my good buddy Ian left up here when he came up from Florida for a deer hunt we caught a massive amount of crappie this weekend but we had some neighbors that were fishing all day right beside of us and they were bank fishing and they were catching a few but the water's up and boats were beating mud off the bank and it was just hard for them. I mean, they caught a few fish, I'm sure, but we uh, we were blessed with a bunch of crappie and uh, I've got plenty of fish. So I gave the crappie away and I came home, knew I had some crappie in the freezer so I wasn't concerned about the cook portion of the video, but when I was digging around, I found this snook that Ian had left. And you talk about a hardy fish. You guys look at that. Just big white chunks. And so what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna use this two cup, one beer batter that I make. And you guys need to try it out because it is absolutely delicious on fish. And it's really good for a hardy, big meaty fish. So that's what we're cooking tonight. And that's what we're going to go with. You can cut it and leave it in big chunks. It'll cook all the way through. The batter will be perfect on it. We're also going to do some Argentina cop shrimp. We're going to also beer batter those and fry them. I'm going to put this batter up right now. It's going to be, uh, I'll put it in the video right here for a second. Let you guys take a look at it. Y'all take a screenshot, try it out. If you do try it, comment on the video and let me know what you think about it. Here we go. You got your one beer, you got your blend. Just gonna pour it in. And give it a mix. We've got our oil heating up. And uh, mom's heating the sides up. She had some sides ready. They're getting heated up in the microwave. And I'm going to start when this oil hits 375. I'm gonna start frying these fish. Guys, the oil is at temp. This is what you want right here, your consistency. Sun running off, let a little drain, and then set her off in there, and we'll let her go. That oil's a little hot, but what'll happen is that cold fish will cool it off pretty quick. You wondered where your little crunchies come from out of your box at Long John Silver's. This would be where. I'm telling you guys, this will be the last batter recipe you'll need for anything big that, that you want a beer batter. Catfish, hybrid, doesn't matter, snook. And these are some meaty, meaty chunks. Mom's garden fresh homemade. Relish. Relish. It's a bread and butter pickle recipe, and I'm telling y'all right now, you might as well get ready and tell your mama to brace herself because you don't want to smack her. It's good stuff. I know we've covered this a time or two. Mom brought down Dukes. I'm not a huge Dukes fan, but we're gonna have to go with what we got. I don't have any Hillman's. Equal measures, about the same. 
All right. Give everybody a little mix. Now, raise your spice drawer. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to be precise with any of this. We'll get this big garlic powder container. We'll put in about, I don't know, half a teaspoon. We'll grab us some onion powder, about the same. Then we'll take cayenne. Guys, if you're not putting cayenne in it, are you even doing it right? Got to have a little bite. If it wants to be a little redder for color, put you some paprika in there. A little bash of mustard. Not much. A little sugar. I'll put it right where it needs to be, y'all. Guys, I got these Argentine cup shrimp. We're gonna do those about I don't know, 15 at a time or so. I'll fry them up, they won't take near as long as the fish. We'll be ready for dinner. Well, I think it's just absolutely fabulous. And like, I agree with Brie, it tastes like floor. It's really good. Kind of a thick, like, grouper. Um, it's a real meat fish. It's, it is. Almost yeah. the texture But it's mild. Mahi -mahi. Yeah, mahi mahi. It's yeah. close, but this is white. It's just delicious. Mama ain't never lied. I might look a little funny to y'all, but it don't to me. I'll cut me a piece of this fish off and try it for you. That's my tartar. Mm -hmm. Guys, that is fantastic. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks to those of you that have liked and subscribed and commented on the videos. It means a lot to me. I'm going to take you off some other places. Uh, we've got a lot coming up. It's just been slow, man. It's rained and rained and rained. But I want y'all to know I appreciate you sticking with me. Thanks to all the veterans that have served past and present. Appreciate you on this Memorial Day weekend. But uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one.